what's your job role here at Arcadia? We look after all the graduate and entry level roles in the fashion retail head office of Arcadia. What would like a typical day involve for you? A lot of looking through CVs, a lot of communication with the rest of the team about which of the brands in the Arcadia group are currently recruiting graduates and yeah. what kind of graduate roles they've got on at the moment, um, putting adverts out for the roles. So and how many um, CVs do you get? How many applications do you get? Probably in the region of about 20,000 a year. Oh my God, yeah. tough then. So what's the application process like? Yeah, Arcadia. but it all starts online as you'd expect nowadays yeah. through our website. We've got a graduate section and you go onto the website and you start by submitting your CV and answering a couple of questions about yourself. All of our roles then do involve a short online maths test as well because whether ah, it's yeah it's buying or merchandising, you have to be able to use numbers to a certain degree in this role. Yeah, of course. If you're successful with all those bits and we like your CV, we actually get you to do a video interview. I actually think it gives you a better advantage to show us a bit more about your personality. Yeah, um, you know, if you can imagine working in fashion, you know, we like to see your personality come out through what you're wearing, maybe your yeah. own personal style, and actually just to see a bit of more enthusiasm, smiling yeah. coming out in the video. Yeah. And then the final stage is actually coming in to meet us face to face. So, what do you actually look for on a CV? What stands out for you? It's really yeah. about showing the enthusiasm and passion for the role that you've yeah. applied for. So, let's say buying, which might be what you're interested in. We look for ideally a fashion related degree, which you're studying yeah. at the moment, so that's yeah. good stuff. It doesn't have to be a fashion degree though, as long as you've got a degree. So it doesn't need to be specific to what you're applying no. for? No, fashion is our preference, but if it's not a fashion degree then you would need to have some buying related work experience. Yeah. Then really we just look to see what work experience you've done in the past. You know, have you worked in a retail shop ever? Yeah. Have you had any internships or placements? What do you do in your kind of spare time to show your fashion interest? So what are the biggest no-nos for a CV, like cliche words like passion for fashion, all that sort of thing? <laughs> what would you say passion, avoid yeah. putting on your uh, CV? Maybe avoid that one. <laughs> I think probably just some of the turn-offs on a CV at the graduate level are a really, really long CV. Keep it to two pages. Sure, okay. Don't yeah. need it to be any longer than that. It being really unclear about the dates that you've done things, so yeah. people putting their education but no dates, can't tell if you've actually graduated this year or five years ago, it's hard to piece it together. You know, the yeah. dates for all your work experience being in a, a logical order. Yeah. Thinking about it from you know our perspective, if you imagine we're looking at, you know, let's say a hundred CVs a day, yeah. just make it easy for us yeah. to understand who you are. Don't make it all different fonts, different sizes, yeah. really So hard. you don't really need to be creative with it. I just think as long as yeah. it stands out. I mean I think it's nice to have it nicely presented. If you're going for a fashion or creative related role, obviously put a bit of effort into yeah. it, but it doesn't need to be multicoloured and glittery. Yeah. The aim of the game, making it to be clear and easy to read and really obvious that what you want yeah. to do is a fashion buying role. So would you re recommend like a really strong opening sentence sort of thing? Sometimes if you're just describing yourself in terms of lots of cliched yeah. skills like you said, it probably isn't that strong necessarily, yeah. but maybe a little sentence that says, I am interested in a fashion buying role because I've done X, Y, Z in my past and I'm really looking forward to starting a career. That might make it stand out a bit more, but I think just listing kind of generic skills yeah, it's not really that yeah. interesting. So do you offer internships here? Actually we don't offer internships at the Arcadia Group, no. We prefer to focus on our graduate intake, which I'm pleased yeah. to say is really big. Yeah. We take on about 200 graduates just over every year into head office roles, as in buying, merchandising, finance and digital. If you looked at the adverts for all of our roles, we don't actually ask for people to have a specific internship either. So yeah. we're really all about someone that's a graduate level. Maybe they've worked in retail and you know, the shop floor yeah, at some that's point. that's definitely fairer because a lot yeah. of companies just take advantage of these days, don't they? And yeah. So is it paid? Paid the roles. graduate roles are all absolutely paid, yeah. Our standard starting yeah. salary is 19,000 oh, across all the head office opportunities. Oh, yeah. So how many of the graduate roles, do they all lead to full-time jobs afterwards? Instead of offering you, say, a six-month trainee programme and then making a decision about whether yeah. we keep people or not, they, we are offering you a full-time job when you join us as a graduate with access to all the learning and development that Arcadia yeah. has to offer. That's a nice Amazing. advantage of being a yeah. big company, actually. Um, we have a specific team of people here who just look after running training courses for all different areas of the business. So you'll be joining a team with established people who train you actually on the job as well as getting amazing. access to training courses too. Oh, that's amazing. So thank you so much. It's been really interesting talking to you.